Probably so actually, not. Before we went live, our guest asked us about like who Egghead is. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, Egghead. He uh, was visible in the intro. You can see him right there. Uh, yeah. What an internet I'm legend pissed. he is, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't even exaggerate that for, for more than a few seconds. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's not an internet legend, but w what an interesting figure, let's see. Yeah. Oh, I wish I knew him. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're better off not. No, yeah, you're better off not, honestly. Uh -huh. Lest he, you know, sets up a, a Kickstarter for you and then raises a, a, a bunch of money that he spends on, like, Disneyland. Yeah, Disneyland. Wasn't that, like, a, a thing he did? Oh, sweet. It was, like, he, he raised a bunch of money for, like, legal fees. Because, you know, yeah. like, his, his, his spouse tapped some kid on the back of the head. So, like, yeah. that's a whole different story on its own. But, like, he raised a bunch of fucking money. And then it came to light that he was basically just like spending it on like a Disneyland trip for his uh for him and his wife. Oh Wasn't the whole God. controversy though that uh, he didn't specify that it was for legal fees? I don't think anyone would have had an issue if he made it clear that he was raising it for that. But he I don't remember that. exactly what happened. He did. He did say he was raising it for legal fees. Oh, oh yeah, oh, he did. Oh, what happened? <laughs> that was that was like the the catalyst for uh, Galen riffing on him. Oh on yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, wow, that live execution they did on the drunken peasants. I didn't know that you could do that on YouTube, man. Holy shit. Yeah. Fuck. Alright. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, let's, let's stop bogging down our, our, our guest here with, with, with egghead trivia. And yeah, well, let's why, don't into you, uh, why don't you just like tell us a bit about yourself and like introduce yourself to uh, our listeners. Um, yeah. Hi, I'm Captain Kirsch, or just Kirsch. Um, I do things and also stuff. Awesome. And <laughs> I do that too. Oh my god, we have so much in common right now. Like right? You do stuff, I do stuff as well. Holy shit, we're doing stuff right now. Can you believe it? <laughs> Damn. Uh, well, I used, I used to be a full-time videographer and editor, and I am transitioning right now into actually being a full-time personal trainer. <laughs> well, congratulations on your transition. I, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud. Thank you. Everybody should transition <laughs> at least once in life, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Gotta have an open mind, but uh, you know, I, I found out about about Kirsch here from from Pim Monk streams. Uh, she's been on his uh, the Morning Wood show quite a few times. She does a great job on there. Hell yeah! People always ask for her back, so I'm like, fuck, we got to get her on this show. So fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> cheers to that. I'm I'm drinking this weak ass piss here. So oh god. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry, my mom drinking. left it in the fridge. I, I didn't really have any of my own alcohol anymore, but I found this at the bottom of the fridge, and I'm like, yes, mom, thanks. Well, that's okay. Drinking piss is something we're well acquainted to. <laughs> what? What? Uh, I, I didn't say anything. You didn't hear me say anything, so I can't help piss are you drinking? <laughs> I, I guess you'll find out. All right. All right. Uh, Dave Dobenmeyer's piss, maybe? Oh, uh, no, dude, don't say that. <laughs> That's the one person you could have said that was really going to disgust me. You could have even said Von Helton, and I wouldn't have been as freaked out. Oh. <laughs> Coach Dave, live. See, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying there's something great about me. I'm just not denying my anointing. I'm just not. Oh, I, I like that. Like right off the bat, like I'm not saying I'm better than you. I'm just saying that you know, like the creator of the universe specifically chose me out of all people. You know, Dude, was, was Donald <laughs> Trump inspired by this man or something? Holy shit! Yeah. And Who thank is you. that? It's uh, Coach Dave. He's mostly known for uh, riffing on gay people for being gay, because, you know, oh, they're holy bibble. Yeah. Bibble. That's kind of his shtick. That's kind of gay. It is. But mm. it's, it's, it's Coach Dave, so it's fine. Yeah. So I go, and I make that video, and uh, I, I, told, I told everyone who would listen, or anybody who wanted to listen, I said, listen, this, this is a spark. Something is going to grow out of this. And I get you up know this guy's sucking off Rick Wiles behind the bleachers. Right? Oh, he was. Yeah. He oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Totally. Yep, totally. That's yeah, he's going to Joe Biden him. He's going to take him behind yeah. the gym. Yeah. I want you to listen to this out of the mouth of Rush Limbaugh. Hey, listen, I didn't get it from Limbaugh. All right. This idea didn't come from Coach Dave to Limbaugh. And then I went to New York. This idea came from the Lord and it came to me. And oh, then I- went to Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> <laughs> Some other nut Did job to tell the me Lord that. Came to him? He, sorry, he said the Lord came to him personally. Yeah, 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 and gave him this idea in his fucking head. It wasn't some other crazy fucking maniac on the internet who did it. It was the fucking Lord. All yeah. right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use that as a as a defense if I ever like get caught plagiarizing something. Like, oh no, this this came from God. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, it's fine. You said, yeah. well, that sounds arrogant. Well, that's just how. Uh, spiritually disconnected you are. Hillary Clinton needs to be investigated. She needs to be indicted. And she (laughs) needs to be in jail. Rush Limbaugh called for the indictment of Hillary Clinton. Has anybody heard that before? Has anybody heard that before the uh, the, A Republican calling for the indictment of Hillary Clinton? Are you fucking mad? They would never do that shit. What are you talking about? I don't know what that (laughs) means. Fuck off. I I, I don't know what it means either. I mean, like, the, the far right has been, like, adamantly against Hillary since the get-go. I mean, yeah. like, you know, the, the the guy who eventually became president of the United States said, because you'd be in jail if I won. So, I mean, like, you know. They might as well be like, hey, did you know that 40% of Republicans think that Hillary is a lizard person? It's like, no fucking shit that they think that. That's literally what they've been talking about for the past, what, three fucking years? Is how bad of a person Hillary is? Like, I get it, she is. But people, that's all some people are fucking focusing on. Like, there's other fucking pieces of shit out there. You know that, right? And here's the thing, like, she's in the, like, top 1% of, of powerful people in the U.S. There's no fucking yeah. way she's gonna face any justice for anything she's done, regardless of what it is. Exactly. So, I mean, like, it's a moot point, unfortunately. And, like, this is, like, one of those instances where, like, I, I kind of... I'm kind of, like, in, I don't agree with him, obviously, but I'm kind of like, yeah, I see what you mean. But nothing's gonna come of it, regardless of like how indignant you are about the situation. So whatever. that's what religion does to people. It can make people think that petty little, uh, you know, p- petty little inconsistencies like that have a greater meaning. To Chappaqua, New York. <laughs> I said, boy, you sure are taking some credit for some stuff. I'm just telling you. You hear the voice of the Lord and you obey. You're the one and taking you, credit for shit right now. Are you claiming to be like the fucking voice of the Lord? What are you, the fucking, uh, the, the next incarnation of fucking Jesus Christ? What are you trying to get at? Clearly. Here? Clearly the next Messiah right here. Can't you tell by his little baseball cap with the cross on it? Yeah, that's what, I always, that's what always amazes me about these fucking YouTube Christians or just these YouTube theists in general is that they, they, they're always just fucking sitting around in front of their desktop, you know, just... They're fucking drinking their Diet Coke or drinking their fucking coffee and just uh, spouting whatever they fucking can into their webcam saying nothing of fucking substance. Do you think you're the fucking next messiah who's coming here to bring God's word to everyone on fucking earth? Are you fucking mad? Yes. What kind of di- divine creator? <laughs> what kind of divine creator would work through someone like Brett Keen or Von Helton? Let me ask you that much. I'll just sip <laughs> on my coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For what happens as a result of it. I'm saying the same Holy Spirit that influenced Dave, Coach Dave, influenced Rush Limbaugh. Don't you understand how that, don't you understand how electric wires work? Don't you, don't you understand how connections go? <laughs> electric wires? The tide Whoa. goes in, tide goes out. You can't explain that. Apparently. Don't you understand that the same Holy Spirit that speaks to me is the same Holy Spirit that can speak to Rush Limbaugh and he doesn't even know it? Okay, so if the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit is speaking to all of you, then how is, uh, then what's your fucking point earlier about you not saying the same shit as everyone else? What, is the Holy Spirit giving you guys contracting Confl- fucking opinions? Yes, I guess so. I mean, like, because be like, why else? Like, even just giving him that, like, why else would there be a point of contention among these fucking people? But he's espousing so much of the same shit as the rest of these fucking people anyway, so what's even the fucking difference? What? Maybe one minor disagreement here and there? They have this ultimately the same goals? They ultimately uh, put up their beliefs to the same fucking religion, to the same fucking god? I like the implication, too, like, Rush Limbaugh is not being humble, because, you know, he's claiming this came from him. But in reality, you know, like, it came from God, who specifically chose us, because we're so more valuable than (laughs) the rest of you peons. Can't you see the humility? He thinks it's an idea he came up on by himself. And I'm believing that this indict Hillary spark has been lit. And she ain't gonna get out from under. 
They're anywhere she can run, she can run. But Dude, it was late in 2015. And nothing's happened since. You think something's gonna fucking happen now? I don't care how old this fucking video is. It could be over a year old at this point. It would still be fucking out of date. Hillary's not gonna get in fucking trouble. Why are people still running on this fucking wet dream? Are they gonna be asking Trump about it in his 2020 run too? Because people still think that Trump is gonna get impeached too. It's I don't know. People are so slow to understand things. Yeah. That's true. There's people yeah. on both sides who just desperately want to see, like, impeachment or any, any type of that type of shit to discredit their political opponents. Anything but having them actually lose in a fucking uh, election, which is sad. The stop? Holy Spirit hey. has issued... I gotta take care of my zoo real quick, because they're okay. tearing apart my back door. <laughs> Fair enough, you're, you're not missing much. Yeah. Indict. Hey. Because we will not have government. We will never have free government in America if this criminal goes off scot-free simply because her father, the devil, in my honest opinion, <laughs> the devil. So my daddy said, Coach, you go say indict, and I'm going to do something that's going to smack her daddy down. My daddy's bigger than Whoa. I just heard daddy. <laughs> is, is, that a, is that a threat? Dude, I think this, I think we're we're listening to some serious kink shaming on this episode of Underhaven. Like, I just came back to daddy. Who's yeah, his yeah. daddy? Dude, this uh, sounds like a conversation two teenage girls would have. Like, my daddy's gonna beat you up. Fuck yeah, you. that's what I'm, that's what I was gonna say. Like, uh -huh. It's it's so fucking petty. And and the thing you missed was uh he claimed that uh the devil is is Hillary's father or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah her, her, her biological father, much like uh, Evan LeFevre's biological father is Jesus Christ, twig, to Hillary Clinton's biological father is actually Satan. This all comes back to Evan. Right. That makes so much sense. <laughs> cool. A lot of people don't know. The end. Wong. <laughs> Wong. Right, right wing Wong. watch. Anti-Christian organization. Oh my god. <laughs> According to Rick Wiles, apparently. And actually, we, we had a War Corps on, and I think, like, he mentioned, like, just in passing, like, um, I tend to avoid right, right wing watch because they, they are very, like, selective about what they upload. It's like, well, yeah, that's kind of the point. They, they pluck, <laughs> you know, the, the most incendiary, insane shit that people on the right wing spew. And you can do the <laughs> same with people on the left, but I mean, like, you know, it's just, it's easy pickings on the right. Dude, here's the thing. War Corps only goes after intellectual heavyweights like that channel. Queer kid stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah and like Riley J. So. Dennis. I mean, like, it's just... I don't know. It's, t to me, it's it's funny how, like, whatever. I don't need to mention the inconsistency. You just did it, but it doesn't make any fucking sense. No, nope, you're not trying... Oh, so this is uh, your favorite. No! <laughs> That's right. I've decided Chris McDonald's. Look, we're not trying to attack the religion. Uh, God, Look, at some blah, point, blah, blah. you know, you oh, gotta, you gotta it. call a spade a spade. You gotta call an ace an ace. You gotta call it what it is. Look, Christians don't go Dude, around I fucking hate when people huh? say shit like that. Well, if it quacks <laughs> like a duck, and if it looks like a duck, well, then what could you imagine that it's a duck? Yeah, but he, like, what but the he's fuck not gonna apply the me? same. He's not gonna apply the same logic to Christians, though. You'll see. No, oh, just yeah. Take a few seconds. Yeah. I'm sorry. You don't have true Christians. I'm not talking about. The see. <laughs> <laughs> there oh, you go. They're not, they're not true Scots. I mean Christians. Dude, if I was Same. closing my eyes, I could almost hear G Man there for a second. Holy <laughs> right wing extreme uh, part of Christianity that's really not true Christian. They just call themselves that, but they're really of the devil. Just like <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> of course they are. It's all. It, it all comes back to the devil, doesn't it? Always. I I love that. If you're not Christian, if you're not a good religious person, you're the off devil. the devil. You're a servant of the devil if you're not a Christian. I hate that shit. Totally serve like, the devil. I feel like we also need like a scapegoat that you know can't be disproven. Like we need something like that. Like you know a, a mountain god or something we can blame all of our problems on. But there all only is one god. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're gonna we'll get in trouble. Like, maybe just like blame it on the uh, Illuminati or some shit. I just blame it all on the sure. Christians, actually. <laughs> I mean, we could do I that. I mean, they're all, gonna... they're already blaming everything on the devil, so. <laughs> yeah, might as well at this point. <laughs> I'm a terrorist or of the devil, but Christians don't do this stuff, and that that whole thing at Christ Church was. What about the Crusades? What, what about, about the any other? <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing but a setup. I've talked to too many people. I've talked to our friend Corey Daniel. I watched Zach talk about it. 
Uh, but not just not just our number and our occult friend. That, Did that he just accidentally say nonsense? <laughs> yeah. Accidentally, maybe. Like that nonsense. Uh, nonsense. Yeah, it's Sorry. like a Freudian slip, slip like, yeah. oh, shit. Did I say that? I meant, I meant you know, the, the, the devil. Yeah. I meant it's <laughs> from a complete <laughs> truth. Uh, Sam's standpoint. But even Corey's intellectual look look at this, which I respect just as much, if not more, as his insight into the occult. He said, look, there were too many false flags in this. You're saying to this guy that here that he values the intellectual side of things is really just the most laughable thing during this entire clip. I don't know, man. This was not nothing but a planned attack to make Christianity look bad. And it set the stage. <laughs> oh, you guys do that happens. plenty well yourselves, as evident oh, by this yeah. clip. And see, that to me, Sherry, is so, that's the disgusting part. Okay. Oh, fine. Seems good. McDonald's seems good. ba da ba 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 Praise the devil! Praise, Praise Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> Sail Hayton. Sail Hayton. Sail Hayton. <laughs> Dude, I, I found this uh, just like a couple minutes ago. I, I haven't watched it, so I don't know if it's if we should play it, but uh, yeah, it might be fun to riff on. <laughs> hasn't stopped us before. <laughs> Good point. Yo, listen to Tim Patrick. Listen, bro. God never made anyone gay. <laughs> mm hmm. <sighs> yep, <laughs> that's how this video kicks off. Oh, it's it's it was the devil. From yeah, the devil. From our culture, it came from the voice of the liar. God never made you gay. God never made you this way. You're a product of your environment. You're a product of your culture. You're a product gay, of a vulture. Fuck this guy. Coming away, eating at your soul. Bro, listen to these words that I say. You was not gay. Don't be gay. Don't be gay. Don't be gay. Don't be gay. Oh my god. Really? Really? He's really going for this shit? This is- <laughs> What is he saying? Don't be gay, just be gay? <laughs> don't be gay, don't be gay. Oh, just don't, just don't be gay. Don't yeah, be gay. Yeah. Just don't be gay. Just don't be gay. That's the Stop moral it. of the story. Stop, Stop it. Stop being gay. Stop. Don't be gay, don't be gay. Come back to reality. Give me the rod. Homosexuality. Because God may me. Don't hurt her! Then give <laughs> me the rod! And am woman, not Adam and Steve. So, bro, you need to. Oh, oh my god, they're what? still fucking using that. They're Adam still Adam. fucking using. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Okay. All right. That's cool. the thing. That's like something people say. Yeah, they've been saying it for like decades now. Uh, dude, like, I haven't seen any fucking serpents in real life. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Oh. That's I like just, me being like David and Goliath, not David and Gasmiath, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what? Believe, stop letting the thieves come steal your thoughts and put you in the soul. Lost cells to rot because you know it's a long trip down to hell and the farewell will be swell. And I'm not saying you well, have to scare you. <laughs> you know that you've gone wrong when you use the fucking word swell in your rap. Yeah, here's the okay? thing if you but rap, it rhymes. It just like, <laughs> it rhymes, but it's fucking terrible. Don't fucking use the word swell. Not even like in casual conversation. Just don't but do it. But it rhymes, so Dude. it's a good rap. I'm curious, <laughs> how, how, do you feel, how would you feel if I was rapping and I just threw in the fucking word G. Willikers because it rhymed at the end? How would you feel about that? I would think you're a legitimate rapper because oh, it God. rhymes. All right. Yeah, yeah, I got bars. I got bars. Yeah. But I can snap you out of the trance to get you back in the part of God's plan to advance the kingdom of heaven. So this is why I'm stepping in to intervene. Bro, you not Dude, a Dude, everyone favor me to set this guy straight. He's misinterpreting God's message. I, I don't think there's any force on this planet that could set this guy straight. <laughs> okay, good point. I decided I'm just going to chuck my beer whenever you play it, so... Makes it easier okay. to listen to it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, Not Jesus Christ. Know. Satan. I thought about getting some uh, alcoholic refreshments myself, but uh, I, I never got around to it. But now I just, I'm just kind of like kicking myself for not See, doing I, that. Like, I doubled up. Oh, shit. Just don't be gay, no, I don't even know. Okay, I'll stop. Don't be gay, 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 don't be gay. Holy Spirit, give me words to say. I think this guy might be a little bit bigoted. Maybe. 
Just, just a smidgen. Don't be gay. I see a down like a dog. Low, holy spirit. I know you can hear it. Don't fear it. Come hear it when you hear it. Love, joy. Oh, that was like an Eminem verse. Yeah. You know, when he like does like the accent thing, you can hear it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can we, can we, can we, did Pimmonk just come on the show for a second? <laughs> Well, well, I for one agree with that notion. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Peace, patience, right. kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control may be manifested into your soul. Look, fight these thoughts, bro. Fight these thoughts. Fight these thoughts. Fight, fight these thoughts. thoughts. Fight these thoughts. Fight these thoughts. Guys, <laughs> you probably get the voice of the lies telling you, "Hey, be gay, give it a try." Hey, be gay, give it a try. Dude, maybe, dude, maybe <laughs> yeah, it's like fucking here. I don't hear that shit. Jesus. Well, he I, made me chug my beer, so there's that. Alright, yeah, yeah. The, He is the devil! Like, he made me drink! Yeah! yeah holy yeah. shit! Yeah, he's driving you to sin. Dude, it's the yeah. devil in sheep's clothing, as usual. But it's like, who the fuck just, like, exists, and then, all of a sudden, they, they hear a voice where it's like, Yeah, just suck a dick, you might like it, come on! I mean... That's not too weird, but who thinks that that voice is God and not just a random voice that pops up in your head that you usually ignore, you know? Who thinks that? I get <laughs> Those thoughts is lying to you, bro. Those thoughts is lying to you, and I just want to let you know that you have the choice dude, the to only choose to lying believe. To you, the one right in front of me, right here, dude. What the fuck is going on? Why are you fucking making this dumb fucking cringy rap, dude? You really think that the fucking rap song is gonna drive people over to fucking Christ? Are you fucking mad? This is cringy. This is the cringiest fucking thing I've ever heard involving religious music. It is the power Somehow. of music. It is. I've seen it. So next time you get a gay thought, get down on your knees and pray. God. Oh, okay. it's G Man! It's G Man, yeah, that's, dude. That's it's not the way. That's not the the the, the get down get on, your, on knees. your knees. I thought he was gonna say something to else. I'll just put it that way. But yeah, <laughs> you could also do that. You could also pray. Take these thoughts from my head. You can God, help me get right in the direction. Like a sheep, I've been led astray. Don't disobey. You are not gay. <laughs> I am. No, you're not. He just told you. Oh yeah, you're right. Holy shit! Thanks for thanks for letting me know. I was living a lie right? for like several years now. Holy he fixed you. He made a song and he fixed you. Now Dude, you're not is... gay anymore. <laughs> this is the first gay conversion episode of Underhaven. Holy shit! We're making fucking uh, we're making milestones here, Swag. To no. Yes. No. No. I told you enough Joe Biden, <laughs> Swagta! I told you enough Joe Biden! Motherfucker. Oh my god. <laughs> well, without further ado... Vaughn Helton, News Network. Perfect. Well, I not perfect, because I can see Vaughn, but... Still. Fair use. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, we are hey, back hey, again. Hey, hey. And this time we're going to talk day. about um, we're going to talk about okay. Hot Wheels, and we're going to talk about um, defects. Defects. <laughs> Dude, to Swag, it's too easy. Do I have to fucking say it? Do I have to fucking say the irony of what this? Whatever. Play the fucking video. We're going to be talking about failures who live in, in trailers. You know, <laughs> that's the topic of today's yeah. video. Talk about shit you should not do. Okay. Like, I've been watching a lot of videos. On, Swag, uh, he might as well look at the camera and be like, hmm, do you guys know any failures that we could talk about today? Hmm. He just starts looking around his dude, room. Is Vaughn developing a googly eye? <gasps> maybe. Oh, yeah. You can kind of see it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe he's just high as fuck. I don't know. Uh, I, dude, I, I think he'd be a, a lot different if he was high as fuck. Let, let me just say that. Hmm. Aftermarket and... Uh, customization of Hot Wheels, which I'm very oh, seriously God. thinking about getting into doing, because it doesn't seem that complex, and the stuff you need doesn't seem that costly, and I can just get the shit a little over, Dude, a little at a time over so, time. Some and, people really like to uh, pimp out their cars, you know, and some people have other more simple hobbies, like you know, painting mini figurines. Uh, you know, doing miniature figures, shit like that. Von Hilton decides to make entire YouTube videos about making custom Hot Wheels. 
out of nowhere for some reason. I, uh, uh, the, the most jarring thing about this to me is, like, he never talks about this shit ever. Like, he's always talking about religion. He's always talking about how atheists are dumb and, and immoral and evil. And then he's just like, yeah, Hot Wheels. Let me talk about that. See, that's the that thing I don't get. Like, you, you see this with, like, a lot of conspiracy theorists. Like, they'll, they'll make a bunch of videos about, like, the end times are nigh, and they'll go on about, like, you know, a secret society run by Satanists, controlling media, and then in the middle middle of all that, you have, like, oh, yeah, Hot Wheels. You know, I'm yeah. just repairing my, my old collection. Hey, guys, want to see my bottle cap collection? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Should have worn my Hot, Hot Wheels wheel. shirt. Damn. That's a fine-ass car. car. Holy shit. All right. Funny car, Hot Wheels. That's the only car Von Helsing on the road, funny about it. No pun intended. Yeah, don't it don't sit down correctly on the uh, on the frame, does it? No. Oh no, shit! It, it, in fact, it, it refuses to lay down properly. See that? It refuses. That's a defect from the factory. All right, and I've got some pictures here. Animancer, does anything actually happen in this to, video? To back up my shit. He's got some pictures, so what sure. Other than Von Helton being a fucking man child. No, I don't believe so. I think that's the whole fucking video, dude. It's the whole thing. This is all it is. Is Von Helton being like, hey, isn't this cool? Well, yeah, you know, this actually had a... This is one of the very few models to have a defect from the 1933 run of... Fuck off, Von Helton. I really don't care about you and your Hot Wheels. Maybe I would care if literally anybody else was talking about it. Like, you know, people have the right to have their own little collections and hobbies and all that shit. But because you're Von Helton, fuck you. It's really cringy just because it's you. Fuck you. Videos like these make me feel like I'm stuck in a conversation with someone I don't want to be talking to. Because it's like they just yeah. go on and on about, like, shit I can't give a conceivable fuck about. So I just yeah. have to sit there What's and just, What's this thing like, about? Is, is that what he does? He just talks about Hot Wheels? D that and uh, conspiracy theories. Oh. Yeah, like how snow he, is fake. Oh yeah, he he thinks that uh, the, what the color of snow is like just that they colored it artificially. Yeah, no, they think there's like artificial like f uh, like the same thing that's in chemtrails, all the same shit. They th he thinks is put in snow, but also it's time for the most ridiculous oh. thing. Oh, Von Helton, the guy we just we just showed no, you. No, but like, who would color this though? Like, who oh, would do th it? Th them, <laughs> them, <Government. laughs> them, yeah, them. Yeah. Okay. One, one there's more all, thing. There's I need always to tell like you. A, a, there's always a, a they when it comes to conspiracy theor theorists. Yeah, yeah. There's always like some vague nebulous group. They're just kind of like, oh yeah, them. Ah. I, I love to tell our guests this, so I love every opportunity that I get to do it. But Von Helton here, he believes that he is a descendant of Vladimir the Infailer. And he, and he believes he's a vampire. Like, you know, he also like believes Dracula. He is he he is one hundred and forty percent Cherokee. Cherokee. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, one hundred and forty percent Cherokee. How? How? Because I I think like his I don't know, like his his Grandma and his mom, they were both Cherokee, and his dad wasn't, so it just kind of... He doesn't know math. He's so a fucking... actual science doesn't really play a role in anything he believes in. <laughs> well, yeah, no. Von Helton's like the same type of person who thinks that you can give 110%, so... Mm. Yeah. It, it's kind of like, just like, take a look at this person, just like, infer whatever you can from this frame, and then just ask yourself, like, is this person science-minded? And I, I think you'll come to a, a conclusion... Very confused about his whole thing. Yeah. Screaming at my monitor, I, w I was. I, was I mean, we, we talk about him. I'm still befuddled by his existence, so whatever. <laughs> Screaming at my monitor, like, don't do that! <laughs> and, um... But yeah, man, it's 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 sad. It really is sad. <laughs> I'm glad so, we're on um, the same page. You know, uh, single axles forever, man. Split axles forever. <laughs> oh right? my god! Dude, can you imagine... What? No, 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 all right, I just wanted to make this clear. Can you imagine Vaughn, like, let's say that Vaughn Helton could, like, you know, have friends with someone in real life. I, I know he probably doesn't, but let's say that he could, and he was, like, hey, you know, having on. a chat he, he's, with... He's got Brett Keen. He's got Brett Keen. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they meet up sometimes, but, yeah, you know, he could be talking to Brett Keen about, you know, cars and all that shit, like, yeah, yeah, like, they, they start getting really into talking about car parts and everything, and then Vaughn Helton pulls out his little fucking toy model car and is like, yep, take a look at this baby. I just, I, I, I finally saved up for her last year, man. Finally got her. Holy shit. I, I, you know, 
honestly, I bet Von Helton's paid as much for one of those fucking exclusive fucking Hot Wheels than he would for a real car, like twenty thousand dollars. You know, he's the funny it. thing is that he probably knows people who are really into it and are really excited yeah. about that shit. <laughs> yeah, they've been in they've been into it for years, man. It's the only way that he can connect with his childhood friends. Still, oh. mysteriously, he's all on block. Single axles forever, split axles never. Just keep it. Roll that in your head. Split uh, single axles forever, split axles never. Okay. Keep rolling that in your head. Yeah, I don't even know what that's jingle. supposed to mean. Single, single axles, axles forever. forever. I already fucking forgot. I already never. fucking forgot. Single but. axles forever. Split axles never. Just ring, ring you know, roll it around there. Single axles forever. <laughs> it's not going to happen, though. Forever, split axles never. Why? Why does it? What does it mean? <laughs> I don't know. It's something to do with, like, cars and how their fucking engines run. I'm, I'm pretty uh, sure. Yeah. No, no like, people, some... At some People point ask in your me life, about cars, and like, it has wheels. It goes places. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to know much more than that. Yeah. No, no, like, just bear this in mind. Like, someday, you know, you're going to be, like, defusing a bomb or something, and it's like, oh, split axles. Yeah, I got it. Thank you, Vaughn. Save the city. And it yes. Goes, I'm telling you, that looked like shit. Come on, let's, let's be real. Shit. That Vaughn looked Helton like shit. doesn't know how to fix fucking a car. Wheel he shoved up fucking inside kids it. go out to fucking fix his car when it breaks down, dude. Goddamn wheel wheels. At an angle, oh, no less, okay? You know, it wasn't like, it wasn't like, it, you know, on a, on a, on a, on a lift kit or something. Or a, right. Fucked up, man. Totally fucked up. Doesn't look good at all. All right, anyways, that's enough for me. Y'all have a pleasant day. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. Anyways, okay, bye. <laughs> well, now I'm not going to have a fucking pleasant day. <laughs> ah. He looks like he had, like, a tiny stroke or something. Is this yeah, see, that's what I'm saying, like... The, the eyes are not proportional at all. No, he's eh, sad. He's probably just half way. asleep making the video. Uh, maybe, maybe, but, I... but that's what a stroke looks like, or yeah. can look like. You know, like a half yeah, sagging yeah. face. That's true. <sighs> Poor guy. For as much shit as I give him, at least unlike Brett Keen, I can you almost always understand what he's saying. So, yeah, maybe that's more of a curse. Honestly, now that I think. Of it. Yeah. I have to be, and everybody has to be, much more aware of the private space of men and women. It's not just women, but primarily women. So you and, mean, uh, you mean fucking men, right? Obviously, this guy's going to be talking and advocating for men because that's his fucking pet issue. That's who the base that he's trying to appeal to is going to want to hear. I doubt he's going to be talking about fucking women's issues, but. I am much more cognizant of that. Nancy Pelosi wants you to say, I'm sorry that I invaded your space. So I invaded your space. I mean, I, I and I, yeah, I'm sorry this happened. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but I'm not. Oh sorry no! In I just looked at the screen. This is Joe Biden. Fuck. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was waiting for that. <laughs> oh my God! Ah. Hey, mm. he's a molester. Wait, is that the guy who grabs the little kids? Yeah. Hey, he's a molester. He's a child molester. Ah. <laughs> I think I did anything what that was fuck? intentionally designed to do anything wrong or be inappropriate. Former Vice President Joe Biden spent the better part of his first television interview as a presidential candidate answering for how he has he has been around women, how he has treated women in the past. The hosts of The View, where he was given a very warm reception. It's just really laughable for me to see all these Democratic candidates running and putting out their policies out there, putting out their ideas, and then Joe Biden's going on his big apology tour instead of a fucking yeah. campaign. Uh, that's some bullshit. If you your know campaign what, I, I starts with apologies, it's an issue. Oh, yeah, it's an issue. You know, I haven't showered in three days. I would like to take his face and just chop it in there and just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rock on. Dude, he probably uh, deserves it, though. That's how I but feel like, about him. But it's like, wh why the fuck would you go on The View to, like, issue an apology? I know! That's what I want to know. Who allows people to do those things? Like, they hire people to tell them what shows to go on, right? They have, like, PR reps and whatever. Yeah. They have people scheduling these things for them. They have managers and all that shit, yeah. Who, who does that? It was like, you know what? You should go and apologize on this show. It's a good idea. Well, because, uh, I mean, I, I guess part of the reason why they're going to do that is because, you know, those fucking women on The View are going to talk about Joe Biden, his controversy anyway. 
they pre- they they might figure that you know by having him go on there that he'll at least be able to appeal to like the fucking middle aged housewives who probably love Joe Biden anyway. Like I've mostly seen like older people being like, yeah, Biden, he's the candidate for me. It's like I don't see why you think that, but whatever. Boomers. So yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, boomers. Boomers. <laughs> that's that's why you see a lot of these candidates going on like. Uh, not not really social media, but on these old news platforms like CNN and Fox News and all that shit. Well, I guess not. Yeah, and the Fox thing News is, like news. CNN, like they've been caught um, specifically and exclusively polling like the boomer generation to, to yes. like, prove that, like you know Joe Biden could win. See, look at this. He's like, hitting all the polls. That's one generation, though. That's, that's uh, a admittedly big generation. a generation. A generation that does vote a lot, but they aren't, like, the entire fucking definitive fucking voter base. And if you're confident in the fact that they are the majority, then you should just be able to be safe with fucking polling anyone of any age demographic that can vote. No, you want to put out a skewed perspective so that people will see Biden as the only choice, the only choice that can win, and then they'll vote for him. It's the same thing that they were doing with Hillary back in 2016. They're trying to do they it all did. over again. And it, isn't it just, like, kind of, like, frustrating how... The way a lot of people vote is based on like who's who's more likely to win. Like you know. Yeah, I'm, they want to be on the I'm right gonna, side of history. Yeah, I, I'm gonna vote for the winner. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of good that does. A lot of people do that though. Yeah. Because they don't want to feel like they're losing if their candidate doesn't get exactly the votes. But it's so strange though. <laughs> but if you're compromising your vote just to vote for who you want to believe in, I mean, who you want, who, who you think will win, then the you're not actually is- getting your ideas in there. But the thing is, most people don't believe in anybody. They just vote to vote, and they just vote whoever their social circle is voting yeah. for. They tow the party line. Pressed Joe Biden to apologize to Anita Hill for how she was handled in 1991, her testimony during the Clarence Thomas confirmation hearings. But Biden refused to do that. I'm sorry she was treated the way she was treated. I wish we could have figured out. A I find better it really way weird to... how Biden's only willing to do like this half apology shit, but at the same time, he's like literally talking nonstop about this. Like he's talking about this shit more than he's talking about his actual campaign and what he wants to do. This is a really good idea. Yeah, he, he, I don't he's got two yeah. talking points. One is like you know creepy Biden, and the second one is like fuck Trump, and that's really about it. Yeah, but that's, every single but that's Democrat. All I know. That's yeah. all I know about, about politicians in general in the U.S. Yeah. I, I know who they hate, and I know what they're apologizing for. I have no idea what they actually want to do in politics. Yeah, you don't know what they stand for. That's exactly the same here. We don't know what the fuck they stand for, other than being against the other guy. It's going to be great this. next year when I get my citizenship and I actually can vote. I'm like, um... <sighs> <laughs> I what? waited all this time for this. <laughs> I waited all this time for fucking this. Holy shit. Get this thing uh, done. I did everything in my power to do what I thought was within the rules to be able to stop things. You know, I think what she wants you to say is, I'm sorry for the way I treated you, not for the way you were treated. I think that would be well, closer. Well, but, but. Um, it's like a disappointed soccer mom telling her toddler to apologize to another kid. Or <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the, I'm sorry. Of, I never heard say, if you go back and look what I said and didn't say, I, 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 I don't think I treated her badly. Joe Biden, as we've reported recently, called. Man, Anita Hill. I heard him a- speaking, but that was just a bunch of like I thinks and tiptoeing around fucking things. Dude, he he's tiptoeing around this more than he's tiptoeing around announcing his fucking campaign. Which yeah, he did, and nobody cared at all. That's I mean, like, how fuck boys apologize. That's exactly how fuck boys apologize. I'm sorry you got hurt. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah j- not I'm sorry Joe I Biden's hurt you. Boy. I'm sorry you got hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I, dude, I'm so pleased that I got to hear Joe Biden described as a fuckboy today. That's the but, greatest. But that's not even like, that's more of like a politician thing, though. Because like, yeah, I, it I remember, is. uh, God, it, what was the name of the of the fucking lady who uh said she was like uh part Native American, even though she wasn't Elizabeth like, Warren. Yeah, yeah, she's My like, you know, I, I, yeah, I, <laughs> lucky you, I apologize, uh, because I conveyed misinformation it's like no you fucking lied you didn't misconvey anything 
I, you know, I'll say this. That, that that woman said so much ridiculous thing around the 2016 election period, but if you can believe it, uh, pretty much everything that she's done in her political career prior to that has actually been very good, especially for our, where I live. So uh, she she's crazy, and she's kind of following into this whole, like, corporate Democrat, especially, like, she seems to be the queen of fucking the fuck Trump campaign right now. I don't like that. Mm. But... I'd rather her just be a fucking senator here. She gets more done. Like, what's she going to do in the fucking White House? The same thing Obama did, which is get nothing done for four years, eight years. Yes. Conversation. She told Cheryl Gay Stolberger, the New York I, I Times, like her, though. left I'm her feeling her, deeply unsatisfied. With us tonight to take on this topic, Nancy Cook, White House reporter for Politico, <laughs> and Susan Page has kindly agreed to stick around for this conversation. Susan, I'd like to begin with you. John Harris reminded us yesterday, Joe Biden's political career is more years. God, why is she blinking like that? It's starting to bother me. Holy shit. Than John F. Kennedy was Swag able to us. spend. This is the people's opinion. They had to bring on people on this panel whose opinions actually matter. Fuck our ideas. Fuck our commentary. <laughs> these, these are for the professionals. The professional opinions here. As a professional woman. Uh, it's yeah. been just about a half century. Uh, it should also be noted, Joe Biden's... Wait, I swear like, to God, if they say, as a woman, what do you think of this issue? I'm going to flip my fucking shit, because I hate... Oh, as I a hate woman. Your, I hate as your a woman. Is that eyeliner too heavy? Is that why you're blinking so much? <laughs> <laughs> it's like weighing it down. Spoke this morning in a soulful and emotional way about the loss he has suffered in life. It had him in tears. It had Meghan McCain in tears. And a good many people who watched... But then there is this question about women and about Anita Hill. And Susan, the question is, if he doesn't have a good answer on The View on day one of his media campaign, when will he have a good answer? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, honestly, that's kind of a good point. Yeah. Is it? But I mean, I feel like it's, a, I mean, like when he runs out of options, that's when he'll actually give a sincere apology. Well, here's the thing, Kirsch. I think it's phrased disingenuously because it's the fucking mm. media, but I do think it's a good point because, uh, like, it, it's true. If he, if the first day he's giving out a fucking answer that people don't appreciate, like, or at least the people that he's trying to appeal to don't don't resonate with, then what's even the point of going on with this campaign? If it's going to be a flop from the fucking start, then he might as well, you know, he might as well just drop out. Uh, let someone else who has more potential to be, you know, the front runner get their yeah. fucking chance, give it to Bernie or fucking, you know, get, I mean, well, don't give it to anyone, but give people their chance to run for it. Uh, but instead, we're, we're just doing this fucking shit again, the ceremonial fucking run the Democrats, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I think that this is even a worse start than fucking Hillary had, if you can believe me on that. <laughs> Isn't that isn't that fucking crazy that we have a candidate who's going to be the front runner right now who's had a worse fucking start? Than yeah, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> it is. That if is anything, pretty impressive. it's indicative of like a steady decline. In if you asked me that in 2016, party. I would have called you fucking crazy, Swagta. I would never would have thought that they would have repeated this mistake again. I, I dude, I, I have no fucking faith in the political parties at all. And Wait, you you had some to begin with. No, none. I, I had al I had almost none at all, and even I thought that they were a little smarter than- I used to believe in politics. I thought politics were great. <laughs> oh, God. I took, um, politics major back really? in the day. Yeah. I did, I did for a little bit, too, and then my dreams were crushed and soiled, just like everyone else is who hopes to be a politician. Yeah, I, you, know what you know what happened to me? I went- I'm from Germany, right? I grew up in Germany, so yeah. I went- on a field trip to the Bundestag, which are, is our White House, and I sat oh, yeah. in on one of the meetings, and it was a two-hour meeting, and all they did was point fingers. It was pure kindergarten. It was insane. I was just sitting there, all my dreams crushed. I was so, so, so disenchanted. Oh, politics. no! Dude, that, that kind of reminds me a lot of like the, the Simpsons episode where like Lisa Simpson goes to Washington D.C. and she realizes <laughs> just how full of shit politicians are, and so yeah. she just like it was, it was such bullshit. Oh my god, I was sitting there like I almost cried. I couldn't believe it. It was, it was, it was like you want this, so I don't want it. And I was like, well, what? What do you mean? She made a really good point. But then wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Have I been studying for years just for the equivalent of fucking kindergarten antics? What the fuck's oh going on God. here? 
<laughs> oh my god, I've been like, I've been volunteering. I've been, like, I'm doing all this shit right for a long time, and then I go there and like, yeah, none of this a bunch of children. makes any sense. Like, yeah, none I know. of this is actually politics. You're just yelling at each other. You just want to do what the others don't want to do. It doesn't make sense. Oh my gosh, speaking of that, like, I, we literally played a news story like a month or so ago on, on, on this show, and it was like two politicians getting into a debate about Nickelback here in America. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we what? had uh, Billy the Fridge on, and oh. uh, to, to like prove a point, um, I think like a um, a Republican speaker was like, oh yeah, out of like the the hundreds of thousands of people who know about this, only like about a thousand of people actually want this, which is... Kind of like, you know, the the uh, ratio of people who actually like Nickelback. Yeah. And it, it, it <laughs> sparked know, to, like, this, 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 this um, back and forth between, like, two people from two different parties. Like, Nickelback sucks. No, they're not too that bad. Dude, Swag 2 will tell you, when I first saw that video, I was like, <laughs> that's kind of, you know, that's kind of funny. At least they're having a good time. But no, the more I fucking think about that now, the more pissed off I get the fact that our fucking fucking <laughs> wasting their time on stupid little fucking nickelback jokes that fucking 12 this year olds on the internet could you be making remind this me is of how what you I really am <laughs> i kind of like nickelback a little bit so uh <laughs> you, you guys talked a bit about uh disappointment in in how the political system is set up i don't feel like this person on screen is gonna <laughs> like uh give, i just want to say that was germany right and I personally think the German's political system is way better than the American, and I was disappointed in that. So you can imagine how I feel about the American system. But I feel the same way about it's uh, not Sweden's even the system, honestly. System. Hmm. It's not as a, it's, it's, you have two parties, two parties. How does that? How does that represent every opinion? How? It's a Dude, yes and a no. Honestly, the American political system is like the equivalent of a fucking gang bang without. Yeah. <laughs> Z Zay papers stupid. are not in order. So this they is are uh, not. E. W. Jackson or U. Jackson. Um, so this is uh, an American conservative politician, protest Protestant minister. Almost said protester, <laughs> but uh, he's also a lawyer. So like, just c combine American conservative politician, uh, minister and lawyer, lawyer, and you just have like <laughs> this person right here. I'm just trying to smile like him. It's really how do you do it? <laughs> dude, dude, just, I fucking I narrowed my eyes more, more and more. You just more. have to like, you have to like imagine uh, the, your congregation passing the collection plate, and then you taking all that money to the bank. And there you go. That's how you do it. <laughs> Tax. <shirt. laughs> so uh, E. W. Jackson has an interesting take on a. Uh, how do you say his name? Buttigieg. 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 That's how I say it anyway. But yeah, it's Buttigieg. Mm -hmm. That's it. The booty judge. Yeah, he, he's got an interesting take on that booty jage. When he announced his campaign. He's also a radio host, I think. So this is a, a clip from that. So I don't have a video. I just have the uh, audio. He also takes One of the, the things act. he did to, I guess, commemorate the announcement, Pete Buttigieg, Buttigieg, or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows how to fucking say it. I this know. Like, here's the thing. Like, if, if you're running for president, like, people have to be able to have some idea of how your name is enunciated. I know. Or enunciated. And again, they have staff for that. <laughs> there you should know, be an intern somewhere just looking up people's names and it tell you before you say Here's your what they need to do, like, on, on the voting ballot, like, they should phonetically spell his fucking name at this point, because it's not working out. Dude, uh, as, as soon as I fucking saw his name, the first time I saw his fucking name was Buttigieg, I was like, he'll never be president. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, sir, you'll never be president. Change your last name, maybe you'll have a fucking yeah. chance to something reasonable. No one's gonna... <laughs> they're just... <laughs> Buttigieg, I don't know what else to say, man, it's fucking hilarious. I want to be ruled by Buttigieg. It sounds awesome. Okay. On stage, yes. Big ol... Booty. Smack in the mouth. So he's talking oh, about uh, Buttigieg and... He's talking about uh, the booty judge and his uh, significant other. So, oh shit! Yeah, so E. W. Jackson has an interesting take on that, being a a conservative minister and a politician and lawyer. Oh yeah, because booty but, is gay. Uh, let me say this because it 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 is it is needed to release all those who want to say it but cannot. Okay, so this is like the unpopular opinion. Like this is kind of like that that saying where it's like, 
You know, first they came for X, but I did not speak up for I was not X. Then they came for Y, you know? It's like, yeah. nobody, nobody has the balls to say this. No one. Just E.W. Jackson. That's the one source you have for this information. So let's, let's see what he has to say. A normal man yes. is disgusted okay. by the idea <laughs> of two men kissing each other in the mouth. President Barack Obama... Apparently not, because gay marriage was legalized in this country. Yeah, and even if that's the case, I mean, like, you know, your personal preference should not dictate what kind, what, like, what kind of policies you support. Those right. two things should be separate. Like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, if somebody came to me and they're like, you know, I enjoy smearing feces on myself. I'm like, that's fucking disgusting, but if you want to do that, that's whatever. I, I don't feel like you right. should be Im imprisoned for it. Exactly. Yeah. So, like... Even if you feel like that uh, re uh, repulsed by the idea of two men kissing, kissing, I mean, like, whatever, that's none of your fucking business anyway. Right? I mean, I, I'm not really fond of watching it, but I don't have to. That's the thing. I can look away. Some of these right-wing can... politicians uh, like to think about men sticking their dicks in each other more than uh, gay people actually. I just don't understand why people always feel the need to tell other people what they can do and can't do. If, if I mean, it doesn't affect you at all if two other people are kissing. What, what does it have to do with you? I it often it. comes out of an insecurity, I feel yeah. like. How, how insecure do you have to be in your life? Very, very. <laughs> like, usually what we see is like people who are, who, uh, you know, me thinks that thou doth protest too much. Like those kind of people, uh, they tend to be closeted homosexuals themselves. Yeah. Not 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 just that, but also you need to look at it like there there's an entire career to be made out of here in America uh by being a right-wing politician who just basically, you know, does whatever he's the fucking lobbyist asks him to do. You vote in the way that you're supposed to vote. Uh, a lot of these people they might express these ideas publicly and perhaps they don't even believe them in private, but it's easy money for them to do so as a politician. Yeah, I, I guess that's the point. It's so weird to me though. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's crazy. That's how it works here in America, though. And, Everything's and it's funny because like a lot of these people are like staunchly like this is the land of the free. You know, here you can be independent and be left to your own wishes. But it's like at the same time they oppose same-sex marriage even being legalized. Like just allowing that to exist in the land of the free is just like whoa, hey, we can't allow that. It's a little bit too much freedom right there. Hold hold yeah. on, draw it back a bit. Yeah, it's very interesting how many people think that third since like only what they want should be allowed. Only they should have their freedom, but everybody else doesn't matter. Lit up the White House in hmm. rainbow color to celebrate the Supreme Court's abominable decision that declared same sex marriage as the law of the land. He lit the White House uh, up with Ah, that's not rainbow. exactly what it means, but okay. Yeah, I mean, like, if, if anything, that was just kind of like, you know, um, we acknowledge this happening and we're fine with it. That was basically yeah, we, the message there. Yeah, we basically, we acknowledge, you know, gay couples as, like, being actual fucking couples. Or, or And the um, thing is, like, like Obama is, a, is like a horrible example, if you're going to make this point. Because, I mean, like, you know, he opposed same-sex marriage for for the longest time while yeah. he was in office. But he then did? Eventually, I didn't even know that. Well, he, was he did. And, and yeah. He was also, like, against uh, legalizing marijuana, I think. Um, but then, you know, like, the, the wind blew the other way, and he's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm fine with it now. You know, my, my mind has changed. Uh, a lot changed like, in those uh, four, I mean, five or six years, yeah. I feel like Hillary would be, like, a better example, though. Because, uh, she opposed it on the grounds that, like, you know, it, the Bible says this, like, God, the creator of everything in existence, the most powerful being you can imagine, opposes this, therefore I do too. But then eventually... But they separated state and religion a long time ago. Yeah, n not just that, but, like, the point I just want to make is, like, eventually she just kind of went back on that. So it's like, what is the reasoning behind that? Like, you think that the the being that the the deity that created everything in existence opposes this thing and yet like that's your basis for for have, adopting that idea too but then you change your mind so like what does that imply like you go against this a deity you worship or or what 
So if he came out and was like, yeah, I'm pro-gay marriage, like I'm sure he would have gotten a lot of supporters, a lot of people who really appreciated it. But there would have been so many people who would have just, it would have been like more ammo for the right wing to try and use against Obama. Like, oh, he's a, he's a minority. He, he, he's got, he's got the word Hussein in, in, in his name. He's a, he's a Muslim. He's all these things. Like there's already people out there who think that Michelle Obama is a man and that Obama is like a gay or something like that. So there would just be more fucking bullshit like that. Oh yeah. The birthers and shit like that. There was so many conspiracies about Obama. You don't think that would have happened if he came out and was like pro gay marriage back then. I get oh, that yeah. it was a shitty political political move to do like maybe you should have done it earlier like out of morality but a pl- as a but political e- but even figure- like for the sake of argument like if you give them that i mean d- did anything happen like even even if we're gonna act like that's actually all accurate i mean like did anything fucking i'm not saying it, i'm not effect? saying it makes them right i'm just trying to rationalize it by saying that that's just a politician sure I- i'm just like trying to put myself in their shoes and be like okay if i believe all of this insane fucking nonsense and it's all true then I mean, like, what fucking difference does it make? All right, so so th- I want you to do exactly what you're doing now. Like, think about it, but do it while I'm giving you, like, wads of money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I get it now. Uh. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of what they do is tactical, too, right? So it, it seems right. like they change their opinion, but they just hold a certain opinion for a while until, you know, whatever funds come through or a certain thing gets closed off. I don't they know. A lot, a lot gets passed. And then, and then once that happens, whatever they've been waiting for, they're like, okay, now I can say, I actually believe this, you know. And I believe this the whole time as well. Yeah. 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 I mean, and, like, it's, and all, also, it's all about timing, really. It's all about timing and, and, and rewriting yes. the past. A lot of it is timing. And sometimes people actually do change their minds. Sometimes people learn. Not often. <laughs> Especially no, politicians. I'm not going to give this man that. <laughs> I feel like politicians have a learning curve. This... Yeah, a declining yeah, learning. Should be going like that. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, like, but you know. I mean, people do live and learn. Sometimes they learn. Felt like I feel like people yell about um, politics, or like people on the internet changing their opinions, and they get upset when people change their opinions. I actually feel like that's very human. No, yeah, that, I, that I makes mean, you a fence-sitting centrist cuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I can see, I can see like where, where people are trying to criticize that sometimes if someone's like a real flip flopper, like co- constantly changing their opinions. Right. But like if you're, if you, uh, that there's a difference between that and 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 a gradual progression of your beliefs. Just because yeah. there's an inconsistency in how you feel, it, like even say six months ago and how you feel now, or a year ago and how you feel now, that doesn't mean that you're disingenuous or or anything. It just means that you can change your ideas. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I hope somebody went in there after he was in there and purged that place of all that demonic mess that, that I think he, he, he just, that, that spirit, the spirits that he brought in there. If someone like Buttigieg were to get elected, I don't know about Christianity being destroyed, but I tell you what, we would be on the defensive. Are you not by default on the defensive and offensive too? Sort of. Yeah. So <laughs> what, what would change? And I know that as much as these uh, LGBT activists say that I want a theocracy, which I don't, because I don't want to yeah, punish them. People always them try to go under the uh, under the idea that Christianity is the dominant force in this country on which it was founded upon, but they're also a persecuted minority these days. These days, they've always been like uh, e- even back in the eighties when they were like ninety five percent of the U.S. population. You know, they they no, had like their own "God's Not Dead" movies back then, even. Dude, you're, for, you're you're forgetting the good old days back when you know that there were when there were no laws here in America, none. Remember that? Totally. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, we kicked out the British, and it was just a libertarian paradise. Man, what a great, what a golden. <laughs> but they 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 separated religion from the law right from the beginning, didn't they? Yeah. Correct. Uh, so but that I don't has not understand. Been respected. No, it hasn't. I don't understand why it's still so, so influenced. And the thing is, like, you know, a lot of these people are like, you know, I'm. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Well, yay! Rock, rock on. Um, a lot of these people proclaim themselves to be like, I'm, you know, I'm staunchly for the Constitution and and you know the the founding fathers, but then at the same time, I mean, like, they they support um modifications of, of the constitution and, and how things are run and established but you know kind of like how in the 50s i think like 1952 when they inserted uh um one nation under god 
you know, into the pledge. Yeah. It's just, oh, it's they just inserted like, that later? It's too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you know, the separation of church and state. I mean, like, that was like a fundamental basic value they wanted to establish because they knew that tides would change. People would, would adopt some kind of new superstitious belief. Because people are super fanatic. Once they find something they like, they're just like, this is the real truth. Everybody able to, to believe in it. They're able to get away with that shit because it doesn't specify which... But I guarantee you, they'd love to see you and me punished or put in jail. You know what? No, I do not want to see you put in fucking jail. I like you know to see you punished. Uh, yeah, you know what? maybe verbally. <laughs> you know what? We don't want a theocracy, but I guarantee you, they want a homoocracy. You know, see, that's what I wanted to, to play on the show. Yeah. So, like, pro LGBT, oh. people who are, who are just like basically, you know, whatever, it's fine, LGBT rights. They don't want the t a democracy. They want a homoocracy, which, I mean, like, how the f like what <laughs> what basic values would a society like that even you vote have? with your dick? That's what's gonna happen if fucking Buttigieg gets elected, dude. That's the America we're gonna be living in—a homocracy. So just it's a gonna be America, but gay. Oh, yeah, America, bless God. It's like that. Dude, I, I bet uh. I bet your allies in the Middle East are gonna love that. We're all gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> that, that realization, like, hey, wait a minute, you know what I just realized? Humanity is fucking fucked, dude. We're fucked. Yeah. No getting back now, holy shit. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. No. I, I think I just had an existential crisis, but that's alright, that's under hate. <laughs> and I'm out of beer, oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's wrap it up with one final videos what were your voice or you're going into oh my this guy okay do you believe in me no homo in my church ever <laughs> what is but happening it, but it's funny because like cops generally like they're so against body cams i wonder why <laughs> I, mean, uh, you know, I can't i can't cops. fathom why they why they would want uh, some privacy while being on the beat you know i don't know I went a couple of dates with a cop, and he seemed nice and okay. And then I found out he's married, and he has two kids, and that uh -huh. he's on probation because he broke his wife's clavicle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a lot to drop on me all at once. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, okay, I thought you were a lot about cop. Our society. So that, when I tell you to do something, you do it. Yes, yeah, all right. Okay. You're on a power trip? Is that what it is? No. Okay. I need you to listen. That's what's up. That's what's up. You can't force this cameras onto up. cops, Swagta. What, what if they get camera shy? They never didn't sign up for that. Holy shit. They could have anxiety or something like that. Fuck so you, Officer Sweden. Johan Mulero, then 32, made this unlawful arrest in 2017. So this is kind of dated, but uh, it surfaced like a week ago. I'm just standing on the street corner talking to this guy I just met, and all of a sudden you're pushing me down and being real physical with Yeah, me. you know and why? I don't understand. No. And by the way, the, the dude he's harassing is a, a veteran, too. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah. To protect Man, and serve, especially those who protect and serve. Man, yeah. the only thing that could make it worse if he was a black woman as well. Oh, I okay. don't know why. Okay. Lower your voice. Lower your voice. Really? Okay? Do I have to do Yes, I'm telling you the voice. Okay? Listen to me. Because I'm going to tell you one more time. I'm going to tell you one more time and you're going to oh. go to jail. Is that right? Lower your voice or you're going to jail. Whoa. I am the law. I am the law. I have ID on you, sir. Yes, sir. I sure okay. do. Kirsten, I'm sure you've I seen all these crazy you, videos of how, how the cops act here in America. Yeah, I've I've never experienced it, but I've seen the videos. But I, I just, it's so hard to imagine like somebody will just come up to you and like point you in the face and yell at you, know. shut the fuck up, and you're not yeah. even doing anything. Like, well, hi. We don't have cops like, like that where I live, but in other parts of the country, they're really bad. It, it's fucked up. That's what it is. I live in there. a really, really chill place, so I haven't seen cops like that. Our cops are really relaxed. But same here. Like, we're like all same. hippies here. Hippies are retired, you know? Like We're all really chill yeah. rich people. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That sounds awesome. And I, I mean... Because I Sorry, you have the, no, you ha like you have some of the crack hats, but usually it's just like... Oh, they're go, everywhere. Go home, all right? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Avoid direct yeah. eye contact. That's yeah. 
I don't like people testing me. I don't like people I don't not like my Nazis orders. either. Oh, see, that was it. Oh my god. Compare me to a fucking fascist, will you? I'll show you. <laughs> Are you done? Can I show you my ID? Give me your. Compare me to a fascist, will you? And then he just breaks out his Nazi uniform and starts goose stepping yeah. all around this guy. <laughs> your papers are not in order. Are your papers in order? Stop talking. Stop talking. Okay. Two fucking days in jail for resisting an officer without violence. He called him a Nazi. He spends fucking two days in jail. That's crazy. And be like, aren't, okay. aren't these fucking, aren't these cops supposed to, like, be protecting people's freedoms and shit? <laughs> Calling one a Nazi can land you in a, in a jail cell for, like, two fucking days now. Dude, what are they gonna do when one day they find all this cop's Nazi memorabilia? They're gonna feel like real idiots <laughs> when they... <laughs> when you walk up to an officer, and you get that close to an officer, and it's not good. Why? Because now you're in my personal space. So I am telling you to back up, and when so you don't back up, back out of my so personal up, bubble is you, what he's trying. What does he I... do? Imagine him going to Disneyland, and you know how people get really close to you in line. Is he yeah. gonna? What is he gonna do then? What does he do he's at the gonna, supermarket he, when people? He's gonna like, arrest like all the other visitors. <laughs> what the fuck? What if he goes to South America? People get really close there. They talk to you like this. Is he going to arrest everybody? Is he going to punch everybody? What <laughs> no, the dude. Fuck? The, there's there's going to be some really annoying kids behind him in the line in Disneyland. He's going to be like, well, the only way to solve this is... Give <laughs> you an order. Right, because okay. when I give you an order... Because you're on a power trip. Because, because when I give you an order... Is that right? Because when I give you an order and you don't follow it, that's what happens. I told you to back up and you didn't. I told you to back up again or I'm going to sit you down. This is the type of guy that was a bully so in I fucking middle down. school, dude. Or was bullied. He was bullied. I'm sure that a lot of those guys who become cops or go to the army have, you know, had like a harsh upbringing yeah, or were definitely. the victim in some some kind of way. So they have to find a position like, in life where they can give it back. The funny thing too is like a lot of people um in the army, like when they come back from service, they they don't have many options for like employment and shit. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of them will become police officers, but they're, they've been, like, conditioned to be so fucking aggressive and hyper-defensive that it just, yep. like, it's not yep. at all ideal. You get results like this, and I don't know this guy's background, but if it came to light that, yeah, he, you know, he served, and then, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised at all, because, like, you're you're completely right, Swite. It's it's sad, it's unfortunate, but they, that's exactly how it's done here. And... The American police, I mean, like, they're becoming increasingly more militarized. Like, if you look at the yeah. equipment they use, a lot of the stuff, like, th sometimes, like, when you see videos of them uh, just, like, you know, checking up on, like, domestic uh, disputes and shit, they'll show up with, like, you know, fucking, like, M16s and shit. I bet like, one you know, day, uh... sort of vests and stuff. I mean, like, it's just, it's so... It's, it's not at all ideal for dealing with, you know, just, like, a, a citizen, you know, having a hizzy fit. One day, I'm willing to even bet within the next uh, two or three decades, they're going to be completely indistinguishable. There's not going to be much of a difference between the military and the police forces. Yeah. Probably. probably. Uh, at least in terms of how they're armed, maybe not how they're organized, I should say. That's how it works. Do you understand that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm loving the music that plays behind it. You're on a power trip? Is that what it is? No. Review every arrest of this charge. Uh, De-escalation trainings. So, okay. he so he basically had to like sit down and, and listen to like somebody tell him, you know, for an hour straight, like, don't do this, don't be aggressive, just, you know, maintain your cool. Probably you know, with a weeks, be... weeks off with pay as well. Here's the thing, like, if you're, like, basically the uber citizen, which is what cops are, like, if you've been, like, you know, a part of, like, the selected class of people who have been given, you know, like, weaponry and, and, and authority over, like, your common man, I mean, like, at that point, you have to have some level of cool when dealing with people who, who will annoy you, like, regardless of who they are, or what right. they're saying, or what they call you, like, you know, even if they call you, like, you know, fucking pig or something, I mean, like, you have to maintain that fucking temper. So the fact it's that they're your like, job. Is, it's like you know we're gonna like retroactively teach him not to do this. It's like no, you should have made sure that that was the fucking case well before you gave him that bag.
Right. Yeah. I feel like they do that in training a little bit, but it just it goes away as soon as you enter the force because it's just so many. It's just such a buddy system, you know. I don't have to care about this shit anymore. I fucking passed. Yeah. Kind of egg each other on, like if you're a poorly best. behaving, if you're a poorly behaving officer too, it's hard to get rid of them. Like usually, the way that they're punished is weeks off of work with pay. Or they break their wife's clavicle and they just get suspended for a month and then go back to work and become the fucking police president. Well, he's not yeah. yet, but he wants to be. It's like, you know, you, you maimed that. someone for no good reason. You know, we're, we're going to give you a paid leave. Go to Disneyland and, and you know, like, think about what you've done. Because it's, I don't know, it's tangentially related, so I just pulled it down. Okay. <laughs> I'm a cop, and you will respect my daughter. Yeah, right. You better get back to school, little boy. <laughs> Ow! Get your ass in jail! Ow! Hey, what the hell are you doing? You can't do that! Ow! 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 So there you go. Okay. I love South Park. <laughs> what, that's not, the, okay, so that's an episode of Underhaven, guys. Holy yep. shit. Sorry. Thank you very much for being on our show, Kirsch. I, I appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Sorry, I just got a text and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, thank you. But it's funny. Okay, done. Thanks for having me on. This was fun. I learned a lot about American politics that I hate them even more than I thought that I did. <laughs> yeah, you lost, a lot, you lost a lot of brain cells. I apologize for that. Uh, I, that's yeah. totally fine. Made me chug my beer, so that's fun. Now I can go yeah. and enjoy the beach with a little buzz. Fuck yeah. All right. Fuck yeah. All right, well, All right. take it easy, yeah.